hope you got $30 lying around because we're about to learn Moon Animator. This video, unlike the last, will be covering almost every part of Moon down to the niche, so I'll separate it into sections. First section is for new people who need the basic understanding of the software to create an animation. You ever watch someone animate on stream and it looks like a world record tool assisted speedrun? The second part of the video will cover more secondary features and plugins that will help with the process. If you're a beginner, don't worry about memorizing that part as I will be reiterating controls when they show up in future videos. Open Roblox Studio, go to the toolbox, go to plugins and search Moon Animator 2. You'll know you found the right one if it's by X6X and it costs $30. Once you purchase and install it, you can find the plugin in the plugin tab. Open Moon Animator and press New Moon 2 file to open up an animation file. Now we need something to animate, so go back to plugins and open the character inserter. You can choose to insert yourself or anyone else's avatar by pasting their ID or user. And you can also choose package types. You can pick the right choice or R15. You can also choose a default or template dummy by going to presets. To add whatever you added, press the plus in the top left of your moon window and select whatever you want to animate. The properties are pretty self-explanatory. Enable these and you'll have the option of animating its size, transparency, color, etc. I'll get into C-Frame later. To pose your character, select any of these handles and a gizmo will appear. Use R to swap between rotation and position. To add a pose after, drag the timeline slider and create your next pose. And now you can pretty much animate anything. Will it be good? I don't know. Now it's time for a lightning round. I'll be pretty quick, so feel free to pause when you need to. I'll begin listing off some more core functions and get more niche as I get further in. If I don't cover something, it's either something I will cover later or I just don't care about it. Or don't know about it. You can play your animations by pressing space. You can copy and paste keyframes with Ctrl C and Ctrl V, then delete them with Ctrl X and then do that with Ctrl Z. Scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the timeline. To add camera work, go to the camera tab and press add. Select the C frame and press plus where you want to create a keyframe. You can also just double tap the label to create a keyframe if you're lazy. You can do this for anything. You can change your field of view by creating a keyframe, selecting it, and pressing 7. Want cool camera angles? Shift O and it'll open up a camera rotation menu. For these values, you can either input them yourself, or you can scroll wheel through these. You can scroll wheel through anything that has an input menu. Want to play your animation without the camera to see how it looks? Control space to disable camera animation in FOV. You can also press Control H to hide the moon window. Don't like switching back and forth to remember what your last post is? If you animate in 2D, moon has its own version of onion skin, but it's manually activated. If you select your rig and press B, it'll create a transparent copy of that pose that you can use as reference. Animating a walk and you're on a supercomputer capable of perfectly mirroring your pose? Don't worry, you don't have to. Control R flips your entire animation, that way you can flip, copy the pose, flip again, and then paste it. When you paste into Moon, does it paste something else into the workspace instead of the pose you want to? This is a shitty bug, and the solution to it is to copy some text and you'll be able to paste like normal. Don't like how linear, straight, and boring your keyframe transitions are? Select the keyframe at the start of the transition and press 7, and you'll be put into the easing menu, where you can pick custom easing types and styles. There are four easing types. Ease in to accelerate from slow to fast, ease out to decelerate from fast to slow, ease in out to accelerate then decelerate, ease out I don't have a fucking clue. I, I have never used this in my goddamn life. Now the easing styles mostly just affect how extreme this transition is. Back style gives anticipation and recoil by either winding back before your keyframe or overextending. None makes it so that there's no transition and it just snaps to the next pose. Bounce is weird. An elastic is like back if it was stupid. Is your name Doc7090 and you refuse to use easings, but you also don't like how straight linear is? The M key allows you to split keyframes into two, thus rounding and smoothing out the path. Try to imagine a triangle with each of its points being keyframes and the the connecting lines being the transitions between keyframes. If you were to cut the tip off, it would create two keyframes, and when repeated, it will eventually create a smooth, round edge. Don't abuse this though, not everything needs to be smooth, and this is also not a substitute for easings. You still have to make easings using linear. When you're making animations for a game, you need a way to give your anims to your scripter. Press 5 and it will turn your animation into a file inside your character's anim saves folder. You can then right click to export it to file or to roblox. Also, any animations exported you can quickly play by selecting the rig and playing them in the default moon windows rig animations. It's really helpful for recording short skill animations in games. With an exported animation you can also import those into other rigs by pressing shift i, selecting the rig you want the animation on and then the animation. Do not close Roblox Studio before saving and closing your moon file as it will corrupt your animation. There is a solution to this and I'll make a, I don't know, a fucking YouTube short about it, but like, yeah. 
Want something to shake violently? Select two or more keyframes and press Shift-K to open up the Wiggler. It essentially generates keyframes in selected intervals with randomized position and rotation for a shaky effect. You want them to shake violently on loop? You can either loop your entire anim by pressing the cycle button or select what you want to loop and then press shift L. Want them to experience violently shaking in slow motion? Select what you want to slow down or speed up and press 3 to stretch your keyframes. Don't like how all of these turn your keyframes into a singular long keyframe? These are grouped keyframes that you can ungroup by selecting them and pressing Ctrl U to open up the ungroup menu or Ctrl Shift U if you just want to ungroup them. The point of grouped keyframes is to make them less laggy or bulky when you have a lot of keyframes. If you want to group your keyframes, select them and press Ctrl G. Did you watch a video that said high FPS does not equal good animations and now believe anything with high FPS is the spawn of Satan? Want to hop on that low frame rate Spider-Verse train? Go to File, you can also save your animations while here, and select the File settings where you can not only change the FPS but also increase Increase or decrease your timeline length. Are you a Blender user or plan on moving to Blender after using Moon? Phobos Rotation essentially allows you to pose your rig like you would in Blender. Want to make your character hold an item? Open Easy Weld in the Plugins tab and go to Parts. Select the limb you want to hold the item and then the item and join in place. Toggle Animatable if you want to animate the held item. Similar to how I added the rig in the start, if you have any VFX or objects you want to add, just press the plus and add them, and enable whatever you want to animate. Enabling C-Frame is pretty much allowing you to animate the position and rotation of whatever you animated. If you enable this on a rig, you'll be able to animate the entire body without affecting torso animations, making it good for utilizing loop anims like walks by using C-Frame to animate a walk loop going forward. Have no idea where the fuck you are? Press F and we'll bring you home. Don't like how your gizmo aligns with the limb? You can press Y to switch from local to global so that it stays upright regardless of limb orientation. Tired of sliding? Press J and K to snap between keyframes and 5 and 6 to move back and forth a frame. Want to change the color and theme of your moon because basic is boring? Go to theme and buy one of the presets. Use one of the free ones or a community one by going to the Discord, copying them, opening edit theme and options, and pasting it into import. Or even create your own custom theme here in the edit theme menu. Tired of playing aim labs when you're trying to animate? Go to Options and enable Full Part to make it so that the entire limb is the handle. Everything else here is more for, uh, bone rigs. I don't have any ideas for a closing statement, so, uh, I'll see ya in the next tutorial, I guess.